and this is important here. I don't know if a lot of people, when we're out running, their trains are derailing all the time and they don't know why. It's because they don't rock. This thing has got to rock all around on the bottom of that car. If these things hit too hard, what will happen is the weight of that car will be on this, on this one side and it will hold, hold it up off the track. The track will drop away and this will roll right off the track and it will derail. And I tell them and tell them you can't make, it's got to rock side to side a whole bunch. If it don't, you throw a washer, put a big washer underneath there and put the, put the truck back on. So you got room to rock on it as it hits these here. And it, mine, it don't hit them. I got an eighth of an inch at least, maybe three sixteenths of an inch between the car and these pads on my engine. I had a problem with it uh, derailing when I first made it. And it was so tight side to side, it wouldn't stay on the track. And what I found out was it was too stiff. It's got to rock this way and it's got to rock this way. So that thing can follow that track any which way and it'll roll forever and it'll never derail unless the track is bad. If I can buzz right on by a piece of track and the next guy goes by, he derails, guaranteed that's what it is. Guarantee has, he, he, it, it's 90% of the time it's too stiff. This thing doesn't move around, and what it does is it, it the track does. The track, it's got to follow the track. The track gets really crooked with the weather, and it, it'll, uh, it'll just walk right off the track when the track, one side of the track is high, one side is low. The opposite end of the car is the opposite way, so it's riding catacorner on this side on one, on this side on the other. One of the two is going to walk off. And fought right down in the middle and that's what causes them to derail so many times when these guys have beautiful beautiful cars and they look so nice and they're derailing all the time I tell them and tell them and tell them and they just blame the track oh you guys yeah you can straighten the track out enough that it'll stop derailing but it'll just derail somewhere else because anytime the track drops away more than about three eighths of an inch and that car's hitting on here, it won't rock side to side. That thing's going to stay level, and the track ain't. So off she goes. So I found that out early. I found that in 1992 and 93. 93, when I built my engine, that you got to have play in it. You can't have it tight. All of it. All of it's got to move. I even got a little side to side in these things. These things has got to be able to twist also, some. See, they're not tight. If they don't twist, they'll derail too. I hope, I hope, you, uh, hope that helps you guys that are making trains because I guarantee you that'll make all the difference in the world. These are little screws in there. You take them screws out for the way. Something like that. Well, we're still doing it. Junk aluminum.